When controlling a brushless motor with Modius, you need to have a computer telling Modius what to do. When the final application is space or power constrained, it often can make sense to use a microcontroller to perform that function. Probably the most popular microcontroller programming and hardware ecosystem is that of Arduino. You can get microcontrollers and accessories that span a wide range of size, power, and capability. This video will show how you can use the official Modius Arduino library to control a brushless motor with Modius to execute smooth, high-performance motion profiles. To get started, we will need to connect a Modius R4.11 to a motor. If you have a bare board, that process looks like this. First, we will use a cyan acrylic gel to attach a diametrically magnetized sense magnet to the axle of the motor. Second, we'll solder the phase wires in place. Third, we'll mount the controller so that the sense magnet is centered on Modius's magnetic encoder with an air gap of roughly 2 millimeters. Here, I'll use the Modius dev kit bracket to achieve that spacing. With that done, there is some setup that must be done with a desktop computer and a CAN FD adapter connected to that computer. I've got an FD CAN USB here connected to an Ubuntu PC, but Windows and Mac work fine also. Assuming that the Modius Python library and GUI are installed per the Modius dev kit getting started video, link in the description below, we will first run calibration with python-m modius.modius under tool t1 dash dash calibrate. Once that's done, then I'll start TView to set a few parameters. That will be with python -m modius under gui.tview t1. I'll set the position bounds to be unlimited and tweak the PID gains to give results that are a bit stiffer. Finally, I'll do a conf write to save all of these settings in persistent storage. With that done, let's move on to the Arduino side of things. For this example, I'm going to use the Longan Labs CANBED FD not because it is particularly capable, but because it is self-contained, relatively easy to acquire, and shows what can be accomplished in the least capable Arduino microcontroller. The hardware setup for this is relatively simple. I'll take an MJBOTS JST PH3 cable, cut off one end, strip the wires, and insert them into the terminal block of the CANBED FD. Then the CANBED FD will be connected via USB to a host computer. I've already installed the Arduino IDE on this PC. With that open, I'll start the Manage Libraries pane, then search for Modius, and click Install. For this video, I'm just going to compile and run one of the examples as is, and then slightly modified. I'll navigate down to Examples, then Modius, then pick the Wait Complete example. Now I'll use the Upload button to send that sketch to the board. This example first sends a stop command to clear any fault that may exist on the controller, then alternately commands an acceleration limited position move between two different points, waiting for the trajectory to complete before advancing. We can see that here as the motor now oscillates between those two positions. To show that this is completely under programmatic control, let me copy and paste an intermediate position move to a stop point in the middle of the two existing ones, which will result in the motor moving and stopping briefly at three different positions.
I can upload this version and see that yes, the motor now moves between the three different positions smoothly. This library provides a complete interface to Modius, including allowing changing resolution, commanding Modius through all of its possible modes, and querying any of the possible register values. There is some configuration that must be specified depending upon your Arduino board and CanFD controller. First, you need to select the pins that Arduino will use to communicate with the CanFD controller. The ones in this example are set for the Longan board. For other setups, you can just enter the pins that you used when you wired it up. Second, you need to select the CanFD controller base clock rate. This is a property of the CanFD controller board you are using. For the Longan board, it is 20 MHz. For the micro adapter, it is configurable via jumper, although defaults to 40 MHz. If this value does not match your board, things just won't work. That's it! The Modius Arduino library makes it easier to deploy Modius in embedded applications that don't need something as powerful as a Raspberry Pi, a single board computer, or a desktop computer. I'm excited to see what everyone builds with it.